What's up guys, Lou here, back with another video, and today I've got something gaming related for you to look at. You may recognize this package here. Of course, this is a scuff controller, and if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I previously featured the new scuff controllers for Xbox One. Well, of course, it only makes sense to share the new controllers for the PlayStation 4 as well. So I've got two of them here. This is one package, the other one's over here. We're gonna be looking at both of them and I'll be explaining a little bit more about what a scuff controller is and we can also just look at how beautiful these unusual PlayStation 4 controllers look. On the box, you can see elite engineering, powerful precision, full hand control, and of course, the most important aspect, victory. So I opted for a couple of cool different color combinations, uh, quite a bit different from my choices for the uh, Xbox One controllers, which were done in a red kind of scheme. One of them was red camo and the other one was plain red. Damn. There is the first of the two controllers. Very slick, as I'm sure you can tell. This is the yellow and black bumblebee style of look. And you have the elevated thumbsticks as well. So the first thing I'll touch on is the height of the thumbsticks, which is completely configurable by you. Short, medium, or long, depending on what you like better and what suits your style of gameplay. You can also choose to have a concaved stick or a domed stick. Again, that comes down to personal preference. You can see here we have the blacked out buttons just for a slicker look. As I flip it over, you'll see another aspect of what makes a scuff controller special. First, you have these specialized grips. Normally, this would be a relatively slick surface. And then, of course, your scuff buttons. So the scuff buttons located on the back are really what's gonna give you your advantage in the game that you're playing. They are remaps of the front-facing buttons, so your triangle, X, etc. You won't have to take your hand off of the right thumbstick in order to access those buttons. Instead, your middle finger lines up perfectly well and just a little bump, a little tap, and regardless of which button it is that you've remapped, all of a sudden, boom, you can hit that. Same thing goes for your left hand, which uh, also falls onto the other button. So you can keep your thumbs locked down on the thumbsticks so you don't have to give up any kind of movement. You can always be looking around, moving around, and still accessing those face buttons. So obviously it's also about the appearance. Since this is your custom controller, you're gonna wanna suit it out exactly how you want. In this particular case, it's yellow and black. I like it, you know, lots of contrast there. And one more thing that I almost forgot is these ones are programmable via a magnetic key so you can actually remap these buttons without the need to do any kind of extreme work or open it up or anything like that. Okay, so next up we have a different look and a slightly different layout. This is the black and green digital camo. I'm a big fan of these camo appearances. I have the black and red camo on the Xbox One controller. You'll notice that on this controller, the D-pad looks a little different than usual. That's because you have this scuff disc on there instead, which should improve your precision a little bit and help you to slide around from the different locations on the D-pad. Of course, you have the scuff scuff thumbsticks in this case as well. These are concaved uh, like on the other controller and the blacked out buttons over on the side here, the blacked out face buttons. On the back, once again, you have the scuff grips followed by, once again, the scuff 4PS buttons, which will be remapped from the front, as I said before. So I'll put the two of them together here so you can really check them both out in that frame. So the black and yellow version with the standard D-pad and the blacked out face buttons, and then the digital camo on the right hand side here, which has this cool disc installed. This is removable, I'm told, so you can take that off if you wanna go back, revert back to the standard D-pad. Anyways, very cool. As I said, the whole point here is to customize it to suit you, so some of these choices are subjective, whether or not you like these thumbsticks or different thumbsticks, but that's the beauty of scuff. My question is, why aren't all controllers mapped like this? Stock, out of the box, I mean, it seems to make sense. You don't have to remove your thumbs, you still have access to those buttons, you can still pull the triggers, and the rest of your hand generally isn't doing very much in the game, it's just gripping around the edge, so uh, the idea of accessing these buttons in a different way is kind of interesting to me and always has been since I first heard about scuff so anyways there you have it two fresh scuff controllers for the PlayStation 
for very pretty to look at and functional as well. You don't always get that, you know? Sometimes it's beauty, sometimes it's brains. In this case, it's both. Big thanks to Scuff for sending these out to me. If you guys wanna find out more information, that'll be down in the description. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below. Thanks as always for watching, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Later.